Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I will show you how to dual boot Windows 11 and Nobara Linux on a single drive. To follow along, you will need a computer running Windows 11 and a blank USB drive. First of all, open a web browser and go to nobaraproject.org. Now click on the download Nobara link on the right side of the page. There are a number of different versions available, but for this tutorial, we will be going for the official release. So click on the download link next to Nobara Official. Whilst that is downloading, we can set up the USB, and Nobara recommends Ventoy. So open another browser tab and type in ventoy.net. Click on the downloads link and then click on the Windows 11 zip file. This will take you to SourceForge. Click on the green button to download Ventoy. When Ventoy has finished downloading, minimize your browser and open up Windows Explorer. Insert your USB drive if it isn't already inserted. Now, go to the Downloads folder and double click on the Ventoy zip file. Select the folder within the zip file and choose Extract All, and when the window appears, choose Extract. Navigate back to the Downloads folder and open up the Ventoy folder extracted from the zip file. Open up the inner folder and then double click on the Ventoy 2 disk option. Choose your USB drive from the drop down and click install. A couple of warnings will appear asking whether you are sure you wish to continue. Click yes. Take heed however that all data on the drive will be wiped. When it completes you can close the Ventoy to disk window. After the Nobara download completes go to your downloads folder Right click on the Nabara file and choose copy. Now go to the Ventoy drive, right click and choose paste. To make space for Nabara, press the Windows Start button and type diskmgmt.msc and press return. Find your Windows partition and then right click and choose shrink. Enter the amount you wish to allocate to Nabara. The minimum should be 30,000 megabytes or 30 gigabytes to allow room to grow. Click shrink to continue. Restart your computer and press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. To find out which key this is, open Google and type what is the boot key for and then enter the make and model of your PC. When the boot menu appears, scroll down and choose the USB drive from the list provided. Now choose Nabara from the Ventoy menu, press return and then normal mode from the next menu. From the grub menu choose the top option to start Nabara. Nabara Linux jumps straight into the installer so you don't have to press anything else. Choose your installation language and click next. Then choose your location on the map and click next again. Choose your keyboard layout from the list and click next. And then create a user by entering your name, a name for the computer enter a password and repeat it. You can either then choose to set the admin password to the same as the user password or you can set a different password altogether. You can also choose to log in automatically and verify that the password is difficult to guess. When you're finished click next to continue. At the installation type screen choose your drive from the drop down at the top. Now click on replace a partition. Choose the empty space at the end of the disk by clicking on it. The bottom bar should now change from grey to yellow then click next to continue. A summary screen will appear. If you are happy to proceed, click install. When the warning appears, click install now. The installation will begin and can take from 15 to 20 minutes. And when the installation is complete, place a tick in the restart now box and click done. As the machine starts to boot, you can remove the USB drive. A grub menu will appear with options for Nabara and Windows. Choose Nabara and log in when prompted. And that is it. You have successfully installed Nabara and you can dual boot with Windows. Click subscribe to see more tutorials and click the like button if you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.